Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Raid Shadow Legends and this is also being live streamed FYI. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a pretty insane looking champion, which we looked a little bit at uh, at the end of one of the showcases here. So let's take a look at Cardiel. Like, he looks insane. Look at his sword. I even looked at his reviews. His reviews is kind of insane. 4.9 in, in most places and this is a lot of like 5 in freaking arena offense. Uh, so this guy looks pretty nuts. Uh, so let's take a look at what he is good with. So his ally speed in all battles by 19% isn't great. It's kind of medi mediocre tier. But let's look at this. Like this is guy. This guy is a void champion as well. So let's look. Uh, allies receive 20% less damage from champions from the demon spawn and the towards at night revenant factions. Okay. Okay. So. They would take less damage from enemy rotos, or like uh, like night re okay and that towards demon spawn night revenant. So yeah, they would take less damage from from a good bit of champions. Whenever an ally attacks, there's a fifty percent chance to team up with them and join their attack. Um, and you you with with okay with the debuff thing okay. Uh, this champion will attack with their default skill always joins. Sisia. Flame tongues attack if they're on the same team. We have we're not going to be looking at Cecilia flame tongue. Can on, can uh, only join an ally attacks once per turn. Cardiel will not team up on uh, ally attacks when they counter attack or when they team up to attack with another champion. This is good to know. But buff debuff chance. What do they mean by that? Does this mean that? Yeah, there is essentially like a like a thirty percent chance to team up. That is pretty crazy to be honest. That's very nice. And then we have his attack tree. Plays this guy's a support champion, by the way. And this is on a this is on a four turn cooldown. Places a thirty percent chance uh, increased crit rate buff, and a thirty percent chance increased crit damage buff on all allies for two turns. Then teams up with all allies to attack a target enemy. Uh, what does this mean? Then he teams up with all. Okay, so he will give everyone this. Then he will choose to fight someone, and all the allies will join. This is like an insane ally attack skill, then, isn't it? This is like this guy could like replace them longbeard and that stuff, couldn't he? Decrease cooldown of this skill by one turn if an enemy is killed from this attack. And most likely, people. This guy is it seems fun for a blender team, doesn't he? Increase crit rate and crit damage. This guy seems perfect for a blender team. <laughs> like this skill right here seems pretty cool, man. That seems pretty cool. Like this, could, this guy could be a blender guy. He could be a blender guy. Yeah, he could be a very nice blender champion. Oh my god, what a good looking, uh, what a cool looking champion. Okay, so the the Raid Shadow Legends has definitely improved their design team stuff and stuff. So yeah, then he has this one removes all debuffs from all allies and places a block debuffs. Uh, buff and a revive on that buff on all ladders for two turns. The revive on buff cannot be removed. Revive on that cannot be removed and this is on a three turn cooldown. This is insane as well. This is very nice, very nice. Especially if, pe if people are frozen and stuff. Uh, from an enemy <coughs> or skill act or whatever. Uh, attacks one enemy, heals all allies by Sambras of their mark health. Uh, so if you have uh, Krisk with 75k health, he will get healed 7.5k. And if he is incredibly tanky, that's quite substantial. And if you have like 150k health, uh, Mountain King, which usually is kind of rare, I suppose he'd heal 15k every time this guy does attack one. And what's kind of funny is, if this guy joins with that 30% chance, this, is, this skill is insane. This skill is very nice. Also places a trophy debuff for one turn if the target is a champion from the, and that's like a guaranteed. Uh, this is a guaranteed as well, and that's also heal plus twenty percent of seven point five percent. So twenty percent of that would be seven point five. So that would be point seventy five. So that would be one point five percent more. So you would have a nine percent of the max health, I believe. I think nine percent of the max health, if 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 I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Also, just say, should say they should like change the heal thing to like just say total whatever total of the max health, total of the max health instead of like the percentage because you have to like calculate it in your head. Then it's kind of why are you doing that? Why or why do people have to use 
why do people have to do that, I guess. But yeah, this guy, and the truth here is also insane. So this guy is nuts. He's also looking very nuts. Uh, so where would he be useful? That's the main, that's the main question. Where, where would this guy be fun to use? This guy would be great for arena, especially in a blender combination. This guy is a blender god. Uh, he also looks like a god, I suppose. So this guy is or demi god. No, he looks like a god. He looks like a god, pretty much. Uh, or an, I suppose they are maybe cardial. Sounds like an angelic name. So maybe he's supposed to be an angel or something, a warrior angel, or something like that. Uh, so this guy could <clears throat> be used as like if you have an arbiter, cardial, skull, crown, and um, of of course the Sinesha. That's a blender setup, uh, so that he would be very nice with this with that team, and also uh, let's think where else would he be useful? But with the clearing dip, like this guy is probably very good in faction wars with clearing, uh, with clearing buffs, doing block debuffs, doing revive on that. This guy is probably very perfect for both demon tower, and also I think faction wars he would be very good at. Uh, as for as for the um, as for dungeons, that's where I'm interested. Like, I don't know how good this guy is in dungeons. Like, he, his his stat, his stats is nice, and the and the ally attack thing is fun. And like, uh, people are like, whenever an ally attacks, like d he can be good. He can be good. Uh, he can probably be good for for some setups in in uh, dungeons. But I'm not sure what champions he would be useful with. Because this guy is, an, is a blender deluxe, so the obvious answer would be like a Sinesha and Skullcrown and Arbiter and someone else uh, to like maybe the Chris Stephens and Weekend and stuff. So I suppose he could be useful, but I he doesn't do he because this guy is more of a support guy, right? He he just supports for the most part. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'm genuinely I'm genuinely not sure because with this. He, with this, uh, in the first wave, let's say of Dragon 20, you would probably kill one enemy uh, w with this uh, when every when all the allies are joining his attack. And then it would be on a very large cooldown until in, in wave 2, and then it would go a little bit slower. And then probably for wave 3, uh, he, he would do... I don't know, I don't know. I think it could, I think it could be good. I think it could be good. I don't know if the bosses like the dragon or the or the Fire Knights Castle guy, if they are a faction at all, or if they're just special, they're outside of a faction. Because obviously the bosses don't have they they're I think they're outside of factions. So I don't think like I don't think if you attack the dragon everyone will always join or have a pretty good chance of of, of do like well this is just receiving less damage, I suppose. Uh, but in general, like, I'm not sure. Like, for example, this one, Places Through Fear. That's obviously cannot happen to bosses, so I'm not sure. This guy's probably useful uh, for for that. Someone cheered 50 bits. Hi there, Hoof. Thank you for, thank you for doing that. There you were press the YouTube link. Oh, wait. Did I, did I copy? Wait, what? Did I, did I do something wrong? Wait, did I do something wrong? Hopefully I didn't. Thank you for the bits. That's very kind of you. I I don't really, really get donations or bits. So that's very fun. Uh, so we're, we're kind of doing, uh, at the moment, uh, we're just showing off champions. We're doing some hero highlights for, for YouTube recordings. And also, f obviously, for the stream. And now we've been talking about this guy. I don't think he would be useful in, in clan boss, I'll be honest. He would, he would be great. He would be great in faction wars. This guy would be great in faction wars. As you can see, uh, for for you who hasn't on top and YouTube on bottom. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, yeah, he does. He's a blender guy. This guy is insane. He looks like a god. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like this guy. L let's let's look over the systems. He wouldn't be useful in clan boss, I don't think. Clan boss, he would not be useful in. Well, maybe he would. He could replace. Like, okay, well, he doesn't do AoE and killable, so maybe not. He could be used instead of, like, maybe a Doom Priest or something to, to clear people's uh, to clear people's debuffs. So I suppose he could have a use for Clan Boss, but it's it's a very minuscule use. That's definitely not where he shines. 
I think he does shine for the most part in Arena and Tag Team Arena. I think he does shine very well in both Faction Wars and Doom Tower. As for campaign, he probably does very well as well up to Brutal. I don't think he would do any anything in Nightmare. Maybe, I don't think so. Maybe, 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 who knows. Um, and then here, maybe he could be useful in Dragon or something, but I'm not, I'm not fully sure. I'm not fully sure. Also, if, if you joined in late, we're about done with this champion, so we're, we're going to tune over to another one, just FYI. But he's pretty much, a, you can envision him as a long beard, except better. <laughs> Uh, or like a Lanakis, except better. But yeah, thanks guys so much for having watched this video. Re re live stream is not over. Thanks for watching. Have a nice one. Leave a like, subscribe. Bye.